Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be taking you through a typical morning routine and today is wash day, so I'm also going to be sharing how I've been styling my hair lately. This was my before hair from when I first woke up earlier this morning, which was around 7 a.m. As you can see, it's looking pretty messy, but not that bad considering this is five day old hair. I've been sleeping in very loose braids at night just to help protect it from damage. And I've also been using this Moroccan oil hydrating styling cream. I think this has made a huge difference extending the life of my style. It's available at Sephora and I've partnered with Sephora for today's video, which is always really exciting for me. Depending on the morning and how busy my day is, I might do a quick bowl of cereal for breakfast, something fast, easy, but sometimes I want something more filling. And my favorite breakfast is avocado toast with egg whites. It always feels like such a treat. Next, I take Jazzy out for a long walk and I might even hit the gym in the morning. This helps me jumpstart the day, gets my energy and endorphins going, and then it's time to shower and finally start getting ready for the day. Now that my hair is fresh and clean, it's ready to be styled and I've let it air dry for as long as possible, which is important because my hair is so long, does help to cut down the dry time at least a little bit. And the only styling product I'm going to apply is this Moroccan oil hydrating styling cream. I've been using this now for five or six weeks and I really like it. So this bottle retails for $34 and it's huge. This is a 10.2 fluid ounce bottle. So I think this will probably last me an entire year, maybe even longer, you get a lot of the styling cream. It's a leave-in hair styling cream that's infused with argan oil and anti-static ingredients to condition, hydrate, and reduce frizz. And I also love the smell of all of the Moroccan oil products. So it's for straight, wavy, curly, and coily hair, all different hair textures. It says fine, medium, and thick. It prevents dryness, fights frizz, and maintains hold. And that's what I love about it. It helps to extend the life of your style. It's a gel cream texture, so as soon as I pump it out into my hands, it almost starts to melt and liquefy with the warmth of my hands. So it's very lightweight. You can barely feel it when you're applying it to the hair. You can smell it, it smells amazing. So you'll see when I'm done styling my hair, it's going to look and feel so soft and the curls are gonna be nice and bouncy. It's not like other hair gels. It doesn't harden or solidify and it doesn't feel really sticky and heavy on the hair. I have long hair, so I did two pumps and I'm going to start by applying this mid shaft down. So I'm just gonna start working this in, kind of separate my hair in half side by side and I'll do one side at a time. That way I can make sure I coat every hair. I'm gonna concentrate on the ends as well. My ends tend to get really dry. I never like to brush my hair when it's wet because that's when your hair is the most fragile so I'll always brush it before I shower, but not when it's damp. So I'm just gonna run this through with my fingers, but I'm not trying to really brush it through because I don't want to create any damage or breakage. And then I have a little bit left on my hands and I'm going to rub that on top. I'm also gonna concentrate on these front pieces as well. It's so light, I don't think you can apply too much. I've never applied too much. So I'm going back with a little bit more. I'm just gonna make sure I get these front pieces. I just plugged in the Dyson hair dryer and I'm going to begin with a very rough dry. The goal is to get my hair 80 to 90% dry before I start using a brush. And the setting I like to use is number three, airspeed, and only number two for heat. That way the air isn't too hot, but it's going really fast. That will help speed up the blow dry. Now that my hair is mostly dry, I still have some dampness around the roots and the back. I'm going to go in with my round brush. This is the Christoph Robin Boar's Hair Round Brush. Because it has boar's hair, it's a lot more gentle, so it will cause less damage as you brush it through the hair. So now I'm gonna go back through section at a time to make sure the hair is 100% dry. It has to be 100% dry before I go in with my hot tool. Because I'm going to use a hot tool, I don't need the style to be perfect, so this is just going to help smooth out the hair a little bit, eliminate some of that frizz and poofiness, but really it's just to make sure that the hair is completely dry before we use our hot tool. 
Now that my hair is 100% dry, I gave myself an even part down the middle and I'm just going to split my hair in half just like this and then I'm going to work on my left side first. So I'll take a small piece and then I flip the rest in the back. I plugged in my T3 wand. I'm going to use the one inch barrel for today. I've been going back and forth between the one inch and the one and a half. I really like both of them, but the curls last a little bit longer with the one inch. So this is what we're gonna use today. When I'm done wrapping, before I release, I pull down on the curl. And I'm also gonna pull down on these front pieces. Just like that. My hair feels really soft and very hydrated as well. Another tip to make the style last longer is to not break up the curls right away. So I'm just gonna let them sit and cool and I won't brush them out until probably an hour after I've styled. Maybe even a little bit longer. The left side is now done and you can see it just looks really soft and touchable. It doesn't look like it's weighed down at all. I'm going to avoid touching it, at least for now. Let it cool for a few seconds and then drop. Heat styling is now done. This is what my hair looks like when it's freshly curled and styled. And again, I'm waiting to break up the pieces because they're still a little bit warm, especially in the back here where I just finished. So I want these pieces to completely cool down before I touch them. That way the style will last me even longer. I never like to use hairspray because I'm afraid it's just going to dry out my hair. And I don't really like the way it feels, which is another great benefit of this hydrating styling cream from Moroccan Oil because it has a very soft hold to it, but you'd never really know unless you tried it out for yourself and you experienced it or you read the instructions and information about the product. So it still feels really touchable. It feels really soft. It feels like I don't have any product in my hair and the curls are nice and lightweight. They're bouncy. A lot of hydrating products are really rich and they can weigh down the hair. For now, I'm just going to let this sit. I'm going to finish my makeup and then I will come back and I'll show you the finished look for the day. I'm back with most of my makeup done. I still have a few final steps which I'm going to share with you. So for blush today, I'm using the Laura Mercier Blush Color Infusion in the shade Passion Fruit. This is one of my favorite blush formulas. I think all of the shades are really beautiful. I must have six or seven of these blushes and this is just the one I chose for today because it's kind of the perfect light peachy pink. It's a really silky formula and I just love this color. It's kind of perfect for every single day. I'm even gonna go up on my temple just a little bit. Using my fingers, I'm just going to apply a little bit of this Westman Atelier Super Loaded Tinted Highlight in the shade Peau de Rosé. I love how it just melts into the skin. And the rosé has the most beautiful, kind of iridescent pink glow, and it just melts into the skin. It doesn't accentuate any texture. 
This is definitely one of my favorite highlighters in my collection. Brows are basically done, but I want to quickly brush them up one last time. I'm using my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is hands down my favorite brow setting gel. Keeps them in place, truly for 24 hours. In fact, this is probably one of the hardest things to remove at the end of the day when I'm washing my face. Everything else comes off but this. This has been my go-to everyday makeup look for months now. This is just kind of the basic routine if I'm, you know, filming something small or if I'm running errands, just I know I'm going to be out and about if I'm just meeting friends, taking pictures for Instagram, whatever. If I'm just kind of getting ready and going through maybe a soft glam routine, this is it. I usually top off my lips with a little gloss, so today I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Blush Lip Gloss. I also really like Opal kind of scraping the tube on that one. So both of them are in my purse and I imagine I'll finish both of these. I just use them so often. I haven't touched my hair at all because I wanted to wait to let it cool, but now I'm just going to very gently just kind of run my fingers through the hair just to break up the curls a little bit. It feels so soft. It smells amazing. I love that argan oil smell from the Moroccan oil. It's touchable, it's light, the curls are nice and bouncy, doesn't look greasy or weighed down, and this style should last me another five days. Sometimes I don't go let that long. If I'm working out a lot or if I'm spending a lot of time outside, then I may have to wash it sooner, but if I'm just working from home and kind of staying lazy, not doing anything too active. My hair can last a really long time without getting greasy or oily. And the great thing is the style will last as well, so I never like to go back and heat style later on. Sometimes I have to touch up the front, like I might zap these little pieces with the flat iron because I have little curly cues up here, but that's about it. I'm really not going to have to touch it up. Even after brushing through the curls, this bounce, this soft wave will last in my hair because of the soft hold from the styling cream. My hair is freshly washed and styled. My makeup's done. So now I'm ready to start my day. I think the first thing I'm going to do is answer some emails and work from home on the computer. So I'm going to stay in my robe a little while longer, but I do have some errands to run later on this morning, maybe later on in the afternoon. So I will eventually have to get dressed and head out the door. And that completes today's video. Thank you so much for getting ready with me for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be linked down in the description box so you can conveniently shop at Sephora. Huge thank you to Sephora for sponsoring today's video. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.